Hi everybody, it's John Daniel Taylor IV. I'm here to talk to you about comixology. I get asked about it all the time, so I thought I'd do a little video to save you guys from writing that same question over and over again. What you do know is the same thing that I know. It's the largest digital platform. Everybody uses it. Everybody's trying to get a hit on it. That is the good part, but the bad part is you're dwarfed by 60 years of DC Marvel independence, companies that have been around a lifetime. On top of that, we're being flooded by the amateur books, the lesser books, the people that are trying to get their piece of it. That dilutes what you're doing, okay? So I just say that in the beginning. If you don't have strong marketing, going into comixology is like throwing a rock in a pond. No one's going to be able to find you. Now, a lot of the questions I get are, how many comics have you sold? Well, you know, I don't normally release data on that, and I don't like to. However, I will say this, that when I started out, I sold very few. And, I, you know, I didn't even know how many I'm selling because that's how their platform worked. Well, it's changed a little since then, last year, to now. And uh, the real question is, is, and I'm sure you guys are saying, how much am I going to sell them for? How many am I selling? Well, I don't know either. There's no way to, there's no controls on it. Once you submit your book, it's up to them. They make all the rules. They set the sales. You have no control over any pricing or anything. As a matter of fact, when you set your pricing, you're stuck at that. So you better think ahead before, and you can't delete it. If there's a way to do that, I don't know what it is. I haven't been able to delete it to set it up again. You're doing better than me. The other thing, like I said, is the core, it's the money. Okay, when did your money come in? Well, I would love to be able to tell you that. It's quarterly, so you get it every three months, and then you have to wait 45 days beyond that. So basically, you're waiting four and a half months before you even see a report of what you sold. <laughs> so just be aware that that's some of the problems. As far as it goes, I think it's a good platform, but I've sold more on lesser scale in, in my own personal Kickstarters and online than I have there so far. When the Betty Wicked one comes in and when those reports come in, that might change. So it's up to you guys. This is me. See you next time.